hi guys if you're watching my videos for the first time welcome to the channel don't forget to subscribe now before you go so in today's lesson what i want to talk about is calculating your fabric requirement for your curtains i do have a video on the channel that gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to calculate your fabric requirement for your curtains however in that video because i wanted to keep it straight and to the point i did not include pattern repeat so today i want to do a little calculation on how to include your pattern repeat so that you can get the correct cut length in order to be able to calculate your fabric requirement now if you are using a pattern fabric that has an all over pattern you don't have to concern yourself with pattern repeat pattern repeat comes in when you have chosen to use a fabric that has a distinct pattern repeat, your, which means that your pattern starts and stop, and then there is a gap, and then your pattern starts and stops again. So there is a distinct difference on where the patterns are. They repeat themselves throughout the fabric. Therefore, you need to take that into consideration and that is specifically because you need to get the correct amount of fabric so that you can match up your patterns when you join panels now how do you measure for the pattern repeat you may ask you measure from the top of the one pattern to the bottom of the other pattern and I will go ahead and do the example on the board so you can see exactly how to do your calculations now on the board I do have a little diagram and this diagram takes into account all the numbers that we need to add in order to be able to get our correct cut length because our cut length is what we really need in order to do our fabric calculation requirements so let's go through the numbers that are on the board the first number is two inches and that's usually for your trim off wastage the next number is eight inches that is for your top double hem so there is a top double hem of eight inches and there's a bottom double hem of eight inches plus there is 80 inches i'm using 80 inches um, as an example now your 80 inches here is your finish length finish length means that your curtain is done it's ready to be hung and then we have pattern repeat here but we're missing the number for the pattern repeat so this is how we go ahead and measure for how many inches to add for your pattern repeat you measure from the top of the one pattern to the bottom of the one pattern now we're doing this because in so doing we are sure that we will have enough fabric to make sure our pattern matches up when we join panels so we will go ahead and we will add 32 inches for our pattern repeat so pattern repeat is 32 inches i have already started adding the numbers over here so let's go through them we have two inches for our trim off or wastage then we have eight inches for the top double hem so that's eight plus two equals ten then we have 80 inches for our finished curtain panel so it's 
10 plus 80 equals 90. Now, the next thing to add will be our pattern repeat. And our pattern repeat is 32 inches. So let's add 32 to the 90. So we have 2, 9 plus 3 equals 12. So we have 122 inches. And then we need to add 8 inches for the bottom double hem. So we add 8 inches here. So that's 130 inches. The next thing to do is take your 130 inches and multiply by the number of widths that you need for making your custom curtains. Now take for example, we need two widths. We multiply 130 by two so that's two zeros are zero two threes are six and two ones are two so we need 260 inches of fabric but we don't go into the fabric store and buy our fabric in inches we buy our fabric in yards and so what we do then is take our 260 inches and then divide by 36 inches. This we divide this by 36 inches. And we do that because there are 36 inches in a yard. So how many 36 we get from the 260 will be the number of yards that we need. Now I use two widths as an example. However, Check out that video because it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get the number of widths you will need for your particular window. The main focus of this video was to show you how you measure your pattern repeat and include it in your calculations in order to buy enough fabric so that you can match your patterns up when you go to make your curtains. So if you have any questions you want to ask, go ahead and ask them below. Leave a comment below. Share the video if you find it helpful. Give it a thumbs up. And remember, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe before you leave. You take care. And I'll see you for the next lesson.